Tarkis Demos. Eyes forward, no looking back. A Vendrian guard warrior roars with his falc held high. His words largely lost over the din of combat. Stand aside or your funeral will be over the side of the bluff. Seeing you squarely in his path, the soldier points his weapon your way. He's talking? What is this? This is no standard game. I applaud your bravery, but I don't implore you to end this foolishness and lay down your arms. Well, there is no escape, and for Oathbreakers, no surrender. I'm going to go with this slightly more diplomatic option. Not the chance. If I surrender, I'm as good as dead. At least we can drag some of Karos' chosen along our short journey to the void. He signals his men to charge. The sound of chanting rises from the south, drawing his attention. Dalit Chorus, Dalit Chorus Reinforcements. Hurry! I was going to say, five on two is a bit mean. Someone called Mocking Blaze. Run down the Oathbreakers, let none escape. From the red mob of reinforcements from the south, a blood chanter emerges at the head of the rabble. An ornamental crest on her, of her stuff pulsing with crimson tones. I get the feeling this is about to get messy. Anything called a blood chanter would probably be that way inclined. Signaling sigils of magic and wordlessly moving her mouth, the blood chanter scrabs a series of spells into the air. A red glow surrounds the Vendering Guard warriors as the chanter's magic worms its way into their minds, blinding them with rage. Hold position, all of you there. Keep to the path. The warrior gestures along the canyon trail, but his soldiers turn their attention to the Scarlet Chorus. Rory challenges. No, don't engage them. We need to run. His orders falling on deaf ears. The warrior reluctantly readies his weapon. Look at... Okay, when you have companions in your party, you are able to execute unique and powerful abilities called companion combos. These abilities allow two characters to act in concert to create a powerful effect. Try using the Blood Soak Stone combo ability against Tarkis Deimos. Uh, where's that combo? There. Blood Soak Stone. Coordinate with Verse to knock your target prone, then follow up with a strong bleeding attack. It's activated. You'll see an icon above each character's head. Combo them will begin when each character is out of recovery and when the blue circle around the ability icon is gone. This should be interesting. Await my I think she roundhouse kicked into the floor and then I missed. Hang on, let's let's weaken him with the spell. Minus 50%. Oh no, wait, that's not the one I wanted. That's the one I wanted. My health is not doing amazingly well. You got it. On it. Oh, skewered. And then the AI finished that one off. Present runner, come quick. We have a situation on the cliffside. They have the commander. And that's the disfavored. Not so quick, because I'm going to go loot some bodies. Broken armor. We sold to a merchant of spare parts. And a fatiguing toxin. Oh, lots of stuff we can interact with, like that box over there. I should hold tab more often. Head wrap and cheese. Let's 
sky cap. 10 law for 120 seconds and some other buffs. Let's check that corpse there. Some heavy armor. Tempted to put that on actually. I'm trying to. Well, I want to get him into heavy armor. Did we not pick that up? I thought she just picked that up. Interesting. We'll talk to this guy though. What are you doing? You'll draw attention to me. On it. I got it. Pelox Tyrell. Stow your weapons or we find out how long a man screams before hitting the ravine down below. Cornered between a precipitous drop and a band of angry soldiers, the Oathbreaker warrior holds a disfavoured officer at knife point. You are him. Worry not for me. Graven Ash will protect. This favoured officer winces, blood seeping from the seams of his braces and cuirass. You heard the man. He plainly invited you to use that little blade of yours. What are you waiting for? Permission from your pimp. I like this character. This blade, with a jerk of the knife, he slices off a clump of drastas' his matted hair. If you're so eager to see your ally dead, just step closer. Right. We've got a few options. You heard Drastus let him die. We have to help Drastus. Lower your weapon, then charge forward and wrest the knife from him. Or release the prisoner and you might know what the inside of a cell. I don't think I'm particularly persuasive, so I'm going to go with the athletics option. I doubt it will work quite as intended. Okay, you gain favor with the Scarlet Chorus and the Dishonored. Uh, disfavored, not Dishonored. The Oathbreaker cracks a wide smile as you lower your weapon. That's right, now the rest of you drop those weapons. With his attention on the other warriors, you dash forward. He reaches out with his dagger to slay Drastus, but your hand is already on his wrist. With a wrenching twist, you mangle his hand, dropping the dagger harmlessly to the ground. The disfavored warriors rush forward from either side of you. Tyrell barely manages a strained gasp before he being hacked and impaled upon the swords and spears. Tyros be praised, the Oathbreaker fought with the rage of Cairn himself. Rasta slides a trembling hand along the cut on his neck. Thank you, Fatebinder. I thought today was my last. What's, what's this? Cairn, a mountainous archon of stone, accompanied the disfavored on the conquest of the tears. His temper and clivity toward destructive solutions often branded him a liability to the otherwise orderly takeover. His powers were not easily dismissed. During the Azure campaign, Cairn went on a rampage, declaring himself independent of Kairos and the conquest. Excellent. From the look of it, I guess they thought if they swarmed the pass, maybe one might make it out. We found a few scraps of parchment on the bodies. Drastus holds out a handful of crumpled parchments for your inspection. A student of letters such as yourself should be able to make sense of this. So we've got all that training in Graven Ash doesn't teach you to read. Seems a bit mean. I've no time for this, so I should be on my way to see the Archons or examine the parchment. Let's see what we will do. And unfortunately, I need a drink quickly. Remind me to bring a lot of water when I play in this game. Repeating the same messages in different written scripts, the parchments explain the Vendrian guards desire to overthrow Kairos's archons and rout their armies from the tears. The pages aren't addressed to any specific reader, but rather openly invites all who remain loyal to the younger realms to gather at Vendrian's well. Recruitment material, they are trying to bring more traitors to the fight. Well, from the look of it, we kept them from slipping out of the valley, whatever they hope to accomplish. I plan. I think their plan died here. 
The Archons are expecting you. When you're ready, leave by the gate to the southeast and follow the trails downslope for a few hours. You'll see the camp fires leagues away. Can't miss it. However, there's that weird thing up above us that I want to go and investigate. What's in here? Honor Guard's Bronze Falks. Two handed slightly better than my current one. We'll probably equip that. Ah, does it look like it goes into the party stash? There we go, there's all the equipment I was looking for. Uh, where are those boots? Heavy armor. On you go. Quick check. Good. Broken armor. This thing. Plus one quickness. I'll put that on her. Because I believe quickness. Uh, Where's her stats? Oh, I don't know. I'm sure quickness is probably one of her things based on the kind of weapons and stuff she's using. Alright, two-handed weapon. Is better than what I've got. What else have we got in here? Let's Shield. Uh, the javelin, the edict. Oh, right, light armor. You get a funky headpiece as well. Look, look at that thing. Alright, what's this? The once pure water of Queen Lyceris's tears has run red with blood since Karos's forces invaded. Let's have a chat with Aurora. Big binder, we are honoured by your presence. What's the situation here? The Oathbreakers hold the citadel at the heart of the valley. The one built around the base of the spire. The Matani River has been our largest headache during the siege. It's unsafe for armored troops to ford, save for at key locations, and the enemy knows this as well as we do. I know we'd be a lot further along if the Scarlet Chorus used its alleged strength in numbers to ford the river themselves and overwhelm the enemy. Look. As it is, we must take the valley slowly in advance of this favored bulwark, since that's where the real work gets done. Oh no, they're going to have a little fight. Because all it takes is numbers to cross a river under a hail of arrows. If the disfavoured were quicker to act, maybe the Vendrian guard wouldn't be so trained up to face us. If either of you were correct, this campaign would be over and I wouldn't be here. Play the sarcastic card. A fair point, the Legion is eager to gain some perspective on our quarrels. Consequently, I retract my previous remark. Really? Because I don't. Next time you say something, try to mean it. Right, see anything interesting during the war? Once saw a forge-bound artisan set himself on fire. Occupational hazard. That was an unpleasant day. The first of many, to be honest. Right, let's leave her alone. And go see what on earth this is. Climb the rope. The rope appears to be strong, uh, secured strongly enough to hold your weight. Huh. Um. Can that help me how? Ah, ah. A potion of invisibility. We'll climb back down the rope. I got it. And go see what this Cosmo bloke actually is. I'm guessing it's a vendor of some variety.
Fatebinder, what an honor to have one of Turon's court venice our humble holdfast. Need supplies? So you've come to the right place. See what you have. Um, right. Rural Sigil of Lightning, but it's expensive. Can we sell stuff? Um. Hmm. I'm guessing we can. I'm just not sure. Ah, you probably drag it into there. Because that's an amazing system game. Um, I had some trade goods tonight. Yeah. I'm kind of tempted to get the core sigil of lightning, just because that's what you're using to make spells. Limitless boundaries, sigil of timeless form. Great, let's do it. Right. Spells. Spell creation. Pause. Sigil of atrophy. Expressions. That's the one we've already got. Um, that doesn't work so well. Does he have to read them from his inventory first? Aha. Learn. 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 There we go. Right. Let's see what else we've got. Nothing else in there. Although. What does that do? Makes things last longer. We'll update that. And then lightning. Charged fist. Shock damage pushes them. Channel an explosive surge of electrical energy, releasing it all at once on a nearby enemy, interrupting them and sending them flying backwards. Uh, for whatever reason, I can't pick that type for the spells I've got by the look of it. Nice. Um, let's let's get involved in this little chat just here, shall we? Yeah, this prisoner says his name's Darkest Demos, and I don't think this is a complicated matter. He dies. His family's been a driving force in the Vendoran Guard. Killing him should demoralise whatever's left of the Tarkis clan. All must be given a chance to find absolution in the service to the Scarlet Chorus. And you know full well this has always been our way. He has a chance to be a slave or soldier. Only then do we feed him to the pigs. We'd let you take prisoners, but you can't control them. You send these conscripts out on patrol and they never return, defecting all over again. I can't let this nonsense strategy continue. Well, I insist this oathbreaker be taken to the voices of Narat, leaving us at an impasse. Fortunately, we have a fate binder here to settle the matter for us. So what do you say? What should become of the prisoner? We can execute him. One chance to surrender is enough. Or the chorus should be allowed a chance to recruit new warriors. I'm going to go with the execution. In favour with the disfavoured. 
The tearsmen can't be trusted. Rakes, thieves, and whores, nothing more. We were far too merciful the first time. Have this one tied up. He and his friends can watch each other rot in the sun. I won't keep here any longer, Fatebinder. I know your important business in the valley. Don't think there's anything else I can pick up. So we're going to head off to the southeast. I can cast my new spell, right? Oh, Targus wants me to end this. You there. End this, I beg you. Uh, you make a better warning to others while you're still twitching, or finish him, you suffered enough, request is granted. I think he suffered enough, really. You plunge your weapon into his heart, ending his life with one quick thrust. You do. We'll take his money. I like the artwork. Very nice. Right, the disfavoured camp. This fort was constructed shortly after routing rebels along the West Valley's western edge. The Archon Graven Ash directs all disfavoured efforts on this location. Three hours to get there. Take you three hours to complete your journey from edgering ruins to disfavoured camp. Right, and I think that is a very good time for me to bring this to an end. Hopefully you enjoyed yourselves. Thank you for joining me on the live stream if you are in the chat down there, and I will see you next time. Goodbye for now.